mini cast from Diversified Game. After 17 years of marriage, my husband Saul died next to me in a tragic car accident. Before, during, and after the accident, I, who did not believe in any notions of spirituality whatsoever, received two prescient messages, followed by a third message that contained a directive from heaven, opening me to a profound spiritual awakening. The directive was delivered by a male voice that boomed into my head as I was being pulled through the shattered window of my total car by an EMT just before a helicopter was to fly me to an emergency trauma center. It told me to be loving and kind to everyone. I was immediately transformed by this directive and realized that death is not an ending, that my husband's soul was still with me. I also realized that the message to be loving and kind to everyone applied not only to others, but also to me. It became okay to say no when something was too painful for me to endure or process while I was steeped in grief. It became okay to detach from toxic, judgmental people. It was more than okay to derive comfort and solace by connecting with my husband's soul through a medium. And I could now give myself permission to process my grief and other issues with the help of both a life transition coach and a spiritual energy healer. Another important lesson I learned was to live consciously, to be mindful of my words spoken to others, because those words might be the last we ever spoke to each other. Remember to cherish your loved ones and let them know often, by both word and deed, that you love them and care about them. And be sure to practice gratitude often by being thankful for the loved ones in your life, as well as your many other blessings. Thank you. I'm Irene Weinberg, author of They Serve Bagels in Heaven. I'm also the creator and host of the podcast, griefandrebirth.com. Think you have under three minutes of good stuff to share with the world? Then submit for Two Minute Drill at twominutedrill.diversifiedgame.com.